I'm going to show you all about the latest Fleur's Finery dies that we are launching on Create and Craft. And this is our wedding collection. So you've got your Stefan Nottis, I think that's how you say it, your Gypsophilia. We're going to make the rosebud today, but you've also got your fern and if I show you on here, your colour lilies as well. And these are going to make the most beautiful flowers and we're thinking about all the beautiful flowers that you might put in your wedding bouquet. Now look at these. So I've got some gorgeous foliage. Look at the colour lilies, aren't they gorgeous? And I'm going to use my Fleur's Finery tool and I'm going to get this amazing shape on the edge of my flowers. Now look at this rose, uh, oops, dropping that one there this rose leaf and I can get all the veining in there by using my Fleur's Finery tool and again in the colour lily leaves as well. So what we're going to do first is we're going to make some rosebuds. Now here's a couple of things that I've just been making. Can you see a little ladies corsage, get rid of that little bit of glue, can you see focusing on purple and then I've made a wedding card. Now in here we've also put in the gypsophilia and we've also put in the fern because this is what you put in your bouquets to bulk it out. Can you see? I'm just going to turn it so that you can see everything. Isn't that gorgeous? And then the other thing I've made is how about that for a little bridesmaid's headdress using the purple and the white flowers which would look perfect with your corsage. You see, it all goes together. So what you'll see I've done here is, I'm going to do this one out of foam, but you can do it out of your silks as well, because this one here, look, is made out of silk. So it's entirely up to you what material you want to do it out of. I've cut one of the three leaf petals, two of the larger two leaf and two of the smaller two leaf petals. This is just my way of doing it. You might find a completely different way. I also want one of the um, stain, uh, not stainless calyxes as well, but we're going to use that at the end. So first of all, I'm going to get a piece of flourishy wire. Now I tend to do these on quite short wires. That's all I need for now. Can you see from there to there? I'm not going to do it on a long piece because if I'm going to put it into a bouquet or anything, I just want enough to be able to shape it. So what I've got here is I've got my uh, Fleur's Finery um, tool and I've got the hook tip on here. Now I've done most of the shaping for these using the hook tip and I've just got a nice wet cloth because what I don't want is I don't want it too hot. So I just need to make sure that it's not overheated when I'm using the foam. You have it a little bit hotter with the silk. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start adding the shape to my petals. So I'm going to do the outside shape. So if I show you the bits that's going to curl it out first and then we'll do the inside shape for later. Now using your floristry and um, your Fleur's Finery tool is brilliant if you struggle to um, shape your foam because you maybe you've not got the same dexterity. Now I really hope you can see this. I've had to, it's so sunny outside and my desk is in front of a window that I've had to actually close my blinds and put the lights on so that we're not dazzled by the sunshine. I love sunshine so it, I hate it that I've closed my blinds but I don't think you'd see anything if I had my blinds open. So I really hope you can see. So all I'm doing is I am just brushing it along the tip of the petal. Can you see? We're just going backwards and forwards. You can just, there. Now, keep it moving. Don't keep it stationary. If you keep it stationary, you will melt it, oops, and put a hole in. So once you've got it there, you can then just drag it round to the direction you want. So with the three leaf one, just warm it. Once it's warm, just drag it round and it'll come round to shape. Can you see how easy this is? There's no difficult rolling. Now I'm doing this with rose petals, but you could do this with any petals that you wanted, whether you're doing a peony, oh, what else have we done? All sorts of, of, of flowers. You can just shape the tops of the petals like that. So now you can see all five of my petals have got the tops rolled over. So I'm gonna turn it over and I'm going to just curve in the edges. I tend to find it easier to work in one direction, so I'm going to do all of them on that side. There we go. Can you see how the edges are curling in? I don't need too much because it's going to be glued, but it just helps to form the shape. The most important bit is the bit on the edge. And then I'm going to go around these ones as well. So this just takes a minute. Just roll there. There we go. And that goes like that. And then we can do that. 
Now, I'm not sure if you can hear flute music in the background. My daughter is having her regular um, flute lesson with her flute teacher via Zoom or whatever, FaceTime or something down there. So I often are sitting here listening to flute music, which is lovely because she's so clever, so clever with her flute. So this is just her finishing her master's degree off with her flute going, so I'm often sat listening. Right, carry on. You probably won't hear if I'm talking anyway. So just taking it round to the side. So all I'm doing is adding in a little bit of shape. So you don't need too much shape at the sides, just enough to drag it in to start to form the shape. Now, you might want to wear your finger protectors when you're using this. I tend not to do it, when, especially when I'm showing you how to do it. Otherwise, I think you would only see finger protectors and you wouldn't see the shape that I'm trying to do. Now, look, I flatten that so I can just go back in and roll that over again. And I'm going to do that on this one here. Now, if you end up flattening any bits, there's still scope, and I'll show you how, to put a little bit more shape in using the tool as you um, put it together. So I'm just going to put my tool carefully to one side. And the next thing I know, need is my glue gun. Right, I'm just going to unravel there. There we go. I get all in a muddle with my wires. Now, what I need to do is just put a little hole in the centre of each pair of petals. So I'm just using my pokey tool. You can use your floristry wire, but sometimes if you haven't got a sharp enough point on your floristry wire, it doesn't always work. So there we go. So there's my floristry wire. I'm going to get my first one and I'm just going to pop my piece in there. Now remember the petals want to curl outwards. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take it up to there. I've got my finger on the back so that I'm pressing it in there and I'm going to put a little blob of glue and then round there. And then I'm just going to bend that one in. I'm going to put another blob of glue on. And then I'm going to bend that side in. There we go. Can you, oops. I'm trying to do it so that you can see on the camera as well. Let me just do it and then I can show you. Can you see we've made the centre of our flower just by folding it over. Then I'm going to take the other one and I'm just going to wrap it round there there we go so bring that together and pop it so can you see we've got the center of our flower now these ones I'm just going to just give a little bit of a stretch on the center just in the direction that I want them to go in let's just oh, I don't want that one to go that way just helps just a nice little stretch stretch in that foam like I say you can do these equally as well with your silk as as well it works perfectly so now I'm going to slide this one up and I'm going to slightly stagger it so I want it to go that way so it's a tiniest little bit of glue at the bottom and I'm really not putting much glue on at all take that one up again like I said try and stagger it and a little bit of glue there and there and wrap it round so then this one comes around. I'm just going to turn it all the way around. Now you don't want them to be too perfect because that's not what a rose bud is. Can you see? There we are, we're getting there. And then I just repeat, this time with the larger ones. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put the glue further down and I'm going to put that there and hold it so you can see I've not brought it up as tight because I want the petals just to be slightly bigger not a great deal so a little bit of glue there and wrap it round now remember we did that little bit of shaping that's all going to help with this so you can stretch it round a bit more if you want so you can just pull that and drag it round just there pull that one round I'm just pinch so that's another layer and then we're going to do the next layer there we go so again stagger it now this time I know I can come up quite close because I've already got it at the right height that one's going to go there and there so I can wrap that one in and then I can just put this pull that oops, around there there we go it just oops, goes around there. There we go. So can you see, we are still building up that bud. 
and then finally now I've just done that many if you want to add even more on then just keep going you can add more and more petals if you want to I tended to so far this has been the formula that's worked for me now I'm going to take this and I'm going to pop that one there so you can see I'm filling in the gaps this one I want to go just there and that one I want to go I can I've got quite a lot of scope to manipulate them there we are and if you need a bit more glue then go for it but I'm not putting too much glue in because I want them to be a little bit open and then you just adjust it now the final bit to finish it off I'm going to put that down is I'm going to get my um, calyx I'm going to hold it with my pokey tool just a minute oh I'll hold that the right way around hold that get my glue gun slightly warm and then go around with my glue gun and pull it up so you can see as I pull up there we go oops running away come on up you come there we go come on up there we are it comes up mat ball tool and hold it and all this ball tool doing is holding it in shape while it goes cold and once it's gone cold we can open it out and it's already formed the shape. So that means I don't have to add much glue. I can then pop that into there. Again, a tiniest little bit of glue at the base. And up it comes. Oops. And there is my rose bud. Now, if you want to put um, tape around, I would put the um, floristry tape around before you put the calyx on so that you actually trap it in but how about that how easy was that to make and remember once you've made them they're going to be corsages they can be floral decorations or they can be on your craft projects but remember they look equally as nice if you do them in the silk hope you enjoyed that and i'll show you another one soon